Well, I guess he went for it. First floor, Aliens Beaches, Secret Launch Stations. Nice. Let's go. Oof. Yeah, starting to think we might be losing. Yeah, it's starting to look like we're losing. Oh well, let's <laughs> see what damage we can cause. Hey, the good guys never lose, right? At least that's the usual. Ah, oh, looks like we've got enemy drop pods coming in. That's fine. Let's get to work, Spartans. Oh, that music. Right, let's take this elite out. He's the actual biggest threat here. Come on, come to Papa. Charge a team of Spartans like that. Suicide. Oh, we've got another one. These guys are actually fairly competent. Wow, look at this chaos going on. You know, Halo really did big battles very well. Or at least they made little um, battles seem a lot more epic than they actually are. There's just something so good about it. So many people dismiss Halo for being a, you know, overhyped piece of shit without actually playing it. It's crazy, really. It really is one of the best shooters out there. Especially if you're into your sci-fi. It's like Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty is not for me, but they are fairly well-made games. And Halo is very well-made. These anti-air defences going. If you actually watch these anti-air guns as well, they do actually take down um, some of these dropships. It really is cool. A lot of this stuff going on in the background isn't just for show. You can actually watch battles unfolding. and It's really cool. Like, one thing I should have showed off, actually, when the Grafton turns up, uh, you see the bombers go in, and they seem to be just firing missiles randomly into the background, uh, onto that big battle. But if you actually watch where the missiles and the bombs go, they actually go into enemy targets and stuff. You know, the detail is fantastic. We're pretty pinned down here. Need to break these jackals. George, you should be charging up there. There's not a lot you need to be worried about. Now, we get to go see some uh, high-tech UNSC combat craft in a minute. The Sabres. Sabres are cool. They were the... Um, essentially the prototypes for the modern longswords. I think they were the first human, uh, like, space combat craft with shields. Uh, if we come up round here, we've got some supplies. Let's get a grenade out. Oh, God. Blew them into next week. God, this handgun's so satisfying to use still. Right, I wonder if there's anything up here. There's always more hostiles on the way. Give me some stuff. Um, I will swap that out for that. Nice. Looks like this place is being reinforced. Oh, God. What a mess. Right, what else can I have here? I can have a drop shield. Yeah, I'll go for a drop shield. Why not? Ooh, we can take the sniper rifle. <laughs> Some plans. Whoa. Can we destroy this wraith? I wonder. Yeah. I want to see if I can destroy this wraith. Might take, like, all of our ammo, but I'm genuinely curious to see if this is actually possible. Oh, dude, give me that. Show you what to do with that thing. There we go. All right, buddy, that's how it's done. Give me that sniper rifle. 
All right, area clear. I do love the fact as well that you can walk up to your your friendly soldiers and swap weapons from them and all that good stuff too. What are they going to reinforce? Danger? Where's the danger, dude? Oh, they are actually dropping soldiers off as well. This is really cool. Wouldn't want to be the first Covenant in, that's for sure. Ooh. Yeah, you really can have a bit of fun standing here and, you know, joining the battle. It's cool. Right, anyway, we've got stuff to do. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I don't think so, dude. Oh, piss off. How did that guy get in? Can't open that. Yeah, we can see the launch facility's been breached. What did you have? I'll actually take that off you. Not that we need it, I don't think. Right. Ooh, things are not looking good for the UNSC in here. Why are you wearing camo, dude? Seriously. Yeah, things are pretty rough. Oh, man. Definitely going to lose this place. Area, uh, secure area. Keep out. Authorized personnel only. Alright, I'll bear that in mind. And there is our target. Well, actually, that's not the supercarrier. Which is interesting. Anyway, we need this data pad over here. Which is actually very well hidden. When I first got here and woke from a stasis, the ship was crawling with colonists from dead worlds. It was so crowded I couldn't move. I had to fight to breathe. So it's only me and George going into space. Cool. Minute strategy session. Assembly minority. It's, uh, it's certainly motivated. But will he have what it takes to follow through with the opportunity when it presents itself? His submission to Unicom will undoubtedly spark a renewal interest in the long dormant Orion. However, it's the opinion of the majority that merely illuminating the path leading from blah 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 thesis back to Orion is unacceptable. Strong connectivity between a relaunch of Orion and viable solutions to the Carver findings must be readily apparent. Which is to say, easy for our creators to see. Hmm. Right, let's go on. So, there's the Sabre. Hmm. Top secret. Uh, let's go with the Shotty. We can get as many shells as we can carry. Ooh, energy sword. Launch team. Saber is prepped and ready to launch. Right, let's go. Apparently I was a pilot for these things. Yeah, dude. Now these things are gnarly. Prototypes. So the Sabre program did get cancelled because <laughs> we lost reach. But the technology was improved vastly and reintegrated into the next generation of longswords. Confirmed. 
Breach ain't looking so good. First time I saw this bit, I shit myself. So we have the 30 millimeter rail guns, which are pretty juicy, and we've got missiles, which are also pretty juicy. Not sure how we use our thrusters, but I'm I don't know. Ah, okay. Hey, there's a Savannah. Yes. Come on, George. George is riding with us. Multiple inbound signatures. Fighter class. Well, there's not a lot the Covenant actually has that will stand up to a uh, Saber. At least, not at this point anyway. Sabres were really, really um, state of the art. Built using a lot of the captured reverse gener uh, engineered Covenant technology. Right, let's go to work. Oof. Now, obviously, we're talking about fighter to fighter. Obviously, a saber isn't going to be taking on a frigate or anything like that. At least not on its own. And we've got these banshees. Start using some of these missiles. Now, there's actually a fair few sabers located throughout Reach. Unfortunately, they all get lost. Now, there's a bit of a weirdness as well here. See these um, banshees. It's a little bit contested in the law. These banshees that are flying around. Because banshees aren't actually meant to be rated for atmospheric... Uh, well, space flight, yeah. Of course they're rated for atmospheric flight. But they're never really mentioned again, I don't think, after Reach. Of being capable of flying... Uh, in space. I guess these are different banshees. Oh, we got seraphs. We got seraphs. Seraphs are a little bit more. Oh yeah. God, it's been a while since I've done this. Right, rail gun their shields off. Yeah, you got it. You got it. See, when Bungie started making Destiny, they kind of, you know, when they first started saying about it, they, we, we were expecting this kind of stuff. Because they put a lot of infinite emphasis on uh, being able to uh, get your own ship and, and customize everything. And because of this, we were like, oh man, we're going to have space battles and all sorts in Destiny. No, your ship is just a loading screen. That's literally all your ship is. But let's not talk about Destiny. Because Destiny's dog shit. So is Destiny 2. Well, I mean, it's the same game. In the vicinity. Be advised we show a large attack force inbound. Combat air patrol and saber teams are directed to engage and defend the station. God, imagine. Not the moment. Anchor 9 to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back online. Clear the lane. We'll light them up. Good. Nice to have a bit of support. Look at all this. Look at this. That's more like it. Oh yeah. Savannah needs to be launched really. Let's take these banshees out. Gun turret should be able to handle the seraphs. 
probably want to get the savannah actually like moving. So it's kind of a sitting duck here. Okay. Oh god, we're getting we're getting hurt. We're getting hurt. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> shredded. Yeah, if you're not careful, you really can get shredded here. Right, anchor nine, defense is back. This bit doesn't actually last that long, sadly. Anchor nine to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back online. Clear the lane. Light them up. Right, here they come. Yeah, on on harder difficulties, your shields really don't last that that long at all. Neither does your hull, for that matter. Yeah, try and get out of here. Oh God. Come on, let's get some shield back. Let's get some shield back. Let's get some shield back. Come on, shield please. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of shield back anyway. We'll have to do. This bastard's got me lit up. Oh god, shields are gone again. Come on, let's thread that needle. Nope, that's the saber. Don't shoot the saber. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Did not mean to fire on UNSC ships. Man, it's fucking nuts up here. I got high hopes, really high hopes for the Halo series, but yeah, I'm trying not to get excited. You know what happens when you get excited about stuff these days? You get disappointed. We need to get tactical. Come on, get those shields back. Actually, if you look at these banshees, they are they definitely look different. They're not your garden variety banshees. Alright, he's gone. Come on, I need those shields back, please. Ooh, shields failed. They know who the ace is, apparently. Apparently. Oh, we're getting hit. That was close. That was close. Alright, okay. Thrusters are depleted. Yeah. It's not the Banshee you need help with, it's the Seraphs, trust me. Alright, let's waste him. Good night, sir. Who are you? You're a Banshee. Get out of here. We've got another Banshee there. Get out of here. Honestly. Oh god. God, it just it looks so good when you're running it at, at high frame rates. I can't remember. I, I think this was a 30 FPS game on the 360. I say 30 FPS. I mean 30 FPS if you're lucky. Cuz they really did push it quite hard. Oof, more phantoms. Oh god, phantoms are going to be full of troops. We need to pop those. Definitely need to pop the phantoms before they get anywhere close. Um. Yep. Yep. I couldn't even tell what was going on. Couldn't even tell what was going on there. Right. Now, where are these is there phantoms? Isn't? Oh wait, we've got to do this again. Anchor nine to all UNSC ships. Station defenses are back on. Oh, god damn it! <sighs> all right. Okay. Let's try and thin the banshees out. Yeah, we're just taking too much damage. Ooh. Who's that there? That ship looks like it's under construction. It's either under construction or heavily damaged. One of the two. Okay, strip your shields off. Eat shit. Right, Seraph. Seraphs are easily the most dangerous threat here. Nice. I want to check that other ship out. It's docked. Oh, shield's already down. 
Lel. Banshee. Come on, baby. Shred the Banshees. A bit of maneuverability on these things as well. I actually do prefer the Seraphs uh, to the look of the new uh, longswords. New longswords look weird. They really don't look very much like fighter craft. They look really strange. Um, definitely don't look like anything uh, we're used to by modern standards, but then I guess that makes sense. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, you're done. Alright, let's take some cover. I could have sworn that we should have got a checkpoint. There's loads of ships here being repaired and refit. Whatever else. Alright, yeah, now we got a checkpoint. We should have got a checkpoint before. The checkpoint gods did not smile at us. Right, let's take these phantoms out. Yep. Oh, they, they hurt, man. Oh, they hurt. One gone. Ah, oh, it feels nice to actually be a threat to these things for once. Oh, let's get out of it. Oh, <laughs> they say we're a threat to them. We were still actually uh, flying around when we were on zero health. Come on. Thread that needle. There we go. Need to stay at some fairly decent range on these things. Yeah. Right, back off, back off, back off. You can only take about three direct shots from those things. I mean, that's kind of a, a maximum. They hurt. They really hurt. Right, you're gone. Next one. Go for the next one. Luckily, these things are fairly slow. Yeah, I can see that. Right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. We've got it. We've got it. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We're doing what we can. Should have had another squadron of these things out here. Damn, we got Seraphs hitting us pretty hard. Oh, God. God, they hurt. They've got hellish um, area effect damage as well. Come on. Your shields can't take much more of this. My shields are down. Nice, he's done. He's done. Yeah, I can see him. I've got him. I've got him. Good night. Oof. It is getting messy out here. Wow, we've got a lot of Seraph fighters. Hang on, hold. Get the shields to hold. Ooh. He's done. These little banshees, these little banshees are just can fodder, really. Oh, there's another phantom there. Really? Ow, that worked. Looks like we've still got all the turrets left. Is that Savannah not ready to leave yet? Jesus. Anchor Niner to UNSC ships. All targets neutralized. Bravo 02 Niner, you are clear to dock. Activating marker. Nice. Holland to Bravo 02 Niner. Noble 5, you ready to go? Affirmative, sir. Dock with Anchor 9. Let's do it. I'm out here, 6. That was Warning. some hectic Expect shit. I need your override. Complete. Canopy release lever armed. My 
Max Zabadovsky. Noble five, please repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Oof. Oof. Sector 18G. Verbal enhance. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Halsey and the others inside Sword Base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? I know. Bravo, 2-9er, you cleared to re-engage thrusters. Noble 6, this is Holland. Go ahead, Colonel. We've flagged a Corvette-class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. Get our makeshift bomb on that Corvette, and we have our delivery system. Noble 5 will escort the bomb. I need your Sabre team to clear the way for boarding. Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. UNSC Savannah, our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. Yeah, the Savannah's basically screwed, because <laughs> if things go really south and they need to pull out, they can't. Target Corvette sighted within visual range of Map Beacon RA-15. We have visual. Target confirmed. Right, let's go to work. Whoa, look at the firepower from the Savannah. Holy crap. Two, good to go. Echo three, Echo right, let's go do some damage to this Corvette. Solid copy. We are currently jamming the Corvette's comms. Hit it hard while it can't call for help. That's the plan. Ooh, shredded that one. Clear a path to that Corvette. Right, let's do it. Let's take out these some serifs. Yeah. That'll make boarding her a whole lot easier. Global six, I'm marking targets. Take out the Corvette's main engines. Yes, boss. Oh god, we're getting we're getting hammered. Come on, let's get some shields back. Look at how good reach looks down down there. Come on. Regen, please, regen. Oh, we're not getting that regen, are we? We need to get the seraph gone. That's it. Getting some shields back. Okay. Let's work on taking out these engines. One down. Ooh, two down. Yeah, I don't think you should be worrying about the Banshees on you. There we go. See, playing this just reminds me of like how cool an arcade style um, Colony Wars game would be these days. Can you imagine it? Right, that's the wings clipped. Heads up, Sabres. Multiple impulse drive signatures detected. Yeah. See him. Echo 2 to Savannah Actual. Where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol, Echo 2. Oh, well, that's okay. Get away, Sabres. We can handle them. We can handle them. We got this. Definitely don't want this. Oh, God. I say. This little shit on my back. Ooh, son of a bitch. 5%. 5%. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Oof. That was sketchy. That was so sketchy. Literally overheated the thrusters getting us out of that one. Right, let's take this bastard down. Ow. Ow. I think the Savannah's actually hitting us. Oh, God. Right, you're mine. Yeah, get fucked. Not quite as superior as you thought, are you? Alright, how are we doing? Ooh. 
Ooh, Savannah's taking some hits. Oh God. Set down immediately on that Corvette's top side landing pad. Don't know if you can actually take these out. Oh, but they do hit us. I wonder. That's a shame. It's a shame you couldn't destroy their plasma turrets. Okay. Oh, well, let's sacrifice the sabers. Hey, we got jetpacks too. All right, let's do this thing. There's the Savannah. Savannah's countermeasures won't work forever. Find a way inside and permanently disable that cruiser's communications. Whoa, yes, they've lost sure a the lot in here. Squawk. We'll initiate uppercut phase two. All right, boys, what are you doing? A bit of roll reversal here. Well, us coming into your boat, ruining your day. I love the audio here, or how little there actually is. Come on, dude. You gotta be a baby. Don't run. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I just shot my mate in the face. Ooh. Get that down your throat. Collinger Savannah. Enemy comm relay is now offline. You got me that. Halting countermeasures, diverting all power and personnel to weapons. Yeah. Alright, Noble. Let's get that slip space bomb on board. Six, head for the hangar. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, see, this kind of has to work. Because otherwise, we've like literally wasted a frigate for no reason. Ooh, shot his methane tack off. That's got to be a pretty rough way to go for a grunt. Shoot their methane tack off so they just suffocate. Ooh, we've got... We've got saw, um, beam rifles. Alright, we're clear behind. Sure, yeah, I thought they exploded. You alright down there, dude? You having a good time? Let's give him some... Uh, some needle fun. Although, he's being a shifty little sausage. Oh, hello! Yeah, we're getting overrun. Getting overrun by everything. Might be better to take and hold one of these little hangers. We've got no long range weapons, which is not great. Okay, let's take that. You need to die. You really need to die. Because you are dangerous, son. Where are you sneaking off to? Come on. Oh, hello. That's bad. Come on. Nice. Woo. You're doing the Lord's work there, buddy. I do have my drop shield as well, which I always forget about. Weren't expecting that, were you? Woo, get in the shield if you need it. Oh, man. Oh, God. We weren't quite in the shield. And we got crushed in a door. Lel. Right. Now, see if we can snipe a couple of these grunts. It's actually the grunts that are keeping us busy, to be honest. Let's take that down. Oh, God, look at our health. We're not in a good way here. Hmm. Man, giving us a bloody shotgun and an assault rifle. It's not a fantastic loadout, to be honest. All right, swap that for that. Okay, drop down. Come on, yep, that bloody sniper bastards really are doing a bit of a number on us, unfortunately. Ah, God. Right, can we actually back off? We can. Oh, what? That's a return t to the battlefield? Really? 
This is going to be a tough nut to crack. All right, well, um... Okay, let's try something else. We need to get rid of those snipers. And I'm really missing my sprint right now. Oh, look, they've got engineers. Let's kill the engineers. Right, one second, guys. Okay, right, cool, we're back. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. The game just seemed to have kicked me out. And uh, I've noticed, actually, since I've reinstalled everything on my computer, um, Master Chief Collection doesn't seem to be that stable. I've had a few times where it's kicked me out and just it won't launch the game or it'll load the level. And as soon as the level's finished loading, it'll kick you straight back um, to the menu, which is weird. Anyway, hopefully that's done now. Right, how are we going to crack this? Let's kill you by using that. Don't want needlers hitting us. We need to deal with that... Um, that engineer, because that engineer is going to fuck us in the ass. Oh my god. Engineers suck. He's done. I mean, engineers are like forerunner. Um, part of the forerunner race, apparently. They're like biomechanical machines. Really cool creatures, but the Covenant kind of has enslaved them. Maybe not enslaved. Well, yeah, they have enslaved them, really. They're actually the engineers of the Covenant, which is why they call them engineers. That's why the humans call them engineers. But given the choice, uh, engineers are quite happy to defect and join. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That drop shield is really hard to activate as well. Right, okay. This bit is going to be a bit of a nut to crack. But crack it we will. These bloody grunts. It's that fucking engineer's back again, isn't he? I like the way these engineers are actually here on this ship. It's quite cool. It's very law friendly. Now, if we can stem the tide of these grunts charging us, that would be great. Ooh, that was a good nade. That was a satisfying nade. Here we go. Here we go. Try and be as accurate as we can with this rifle. Alright, hey, checkpoint done. The checkpoint god smiled on us. Woo, we've still got Woo. He's still going. He's still going. Good man. That man. Right, let's get you dead. You've got a plasma repeater, which is actually not a terrible weapon. You coming up, dude? You coming up? You coming up to my house? This is my house. Let's see if we can just chip away at this guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, they're behind us. Yep, we had a suicide grunt behind us. But at least we got a checkpoint. We've made some progress. Oof, right. Ah, yes. Yeah, this guy. This guy's got to go. Fucking beam rifle. You can piss off too, mate. Lots of fusion coils all over the place. Lots of things that we can make go boom. Oh, hello. You're not exactly welcome up here. Get out of here. Right. Our health is really not good. Right, nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, our health is like completely regen. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Because I don't think there's a medkit there. And you actually have to push E to use medkits as well. So I'm not sure how we're getting all of our health back. 
come on. Where did you come from? Bloody flying bastard. You've got no ammo either. Oh, let's rain some shells down on his head. Ooh, nice. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, there, dude. Yeah, get fucked. Right, let's get that health back. There we go. Now, unfortunately, his beam rifle is quite a bit better than my needle rifle, but. <sighs> Six, go for those shield controls. I need in. Yep, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're on it. Oh, that music. Oh, I thought we had the jetpack for some reason. Oh, there's so many fusion coils here. Uh, how do I get up there? Over the other side, obviously. Oh, man. Coffee. It's like a shot of adrenaline to the soul. Hello? Anyone? Nope. Still, as long as we got all of our Spartan team, we should be okay. Welcome aboard, Five. Bada keg is aboard, Colonel. Copy that. Six, get your fire team to the bridge. The mm. Corvette's refueling run with the supercarrier will have to be initiated manually. Yes, sir. Five, stay with the bomb. Curious. My pleasure. Get back, <laughs> Lieutenant. I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? Right, I think he's going to be just fine. Right, what we've got here. Definitely go for a DMR. Yeah, we definitely need him. Uh, med kits. Oh, right. Let's hold these guys back. Let's discourage the curious. Get out of here. Oh, we've got a couple of elites down there. Share that between you. There's even one jewel wielder. Come on. There we go. Let's get that shield back. Can you use some more DMR ammo, but it is what it is. Come on, buddy. Come on. In your stomach. Right, yeah. Get the Savannah out of here. She's... Uh-oh. Ah... Ooh. Damn. Shit. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, we've just lost another carrier. Uh, another frigate. That's bad. Yeah. Let's go to work. Ooh, hello. What are you boys doing in here, eh? Looks like we've got some honor guard. Ah, oh, not quite. Oh, come on, it landed on his foot. I mean, honestly. Right, let's clear the bridge out. So the Savannah couldn't even go toe to toe with um, one of these which is not promising for how good the human uh, the human ships are okay let's try and thin these elites out and uh, we've lost pretty much all of the troops that they gave us as well <laughs> well that grunt went to the, went to the moon you know a lot of people don't like halo reach a lot of people in the Halo community, but then, you know, they just moan about everything. It doesn't matter. Halo Infinite could be, like, the best 
not even the best Halo game. It could be like the best first person shooter ever made in the history of video games. And you'll still get people whinging. Right, another one down. We've got some invisible bastards in here though. There's one. Luckily the invisible guys don't have a lot of armor. And we're just about out of weapons, which is not great. Uh, although, dead soldiers means weapons. Not the best way to get weapons, but... Uh, but it is a way to get weapons. Let's clean up these grunts. Look at the bridge of this ship. It's so cool. Definitely, definitely is a different animal. Ooh. That's gnarly. Right, well, we can do that. I mean, I guess if this plan actually works. Oh, God. We're going, we're coming, we're coming. I guess, in all fairness, if we can lose the Savannah but take out a Covenant super heavy carrier, that's not a terrible trade, considering entire human fleets can't accomplish that. I mean, they do accomplish it <laughs> a couple of times in the in the actual law, but at humongous cost. Right. And 60%. Well, sometimes closer to 80% human casualties. Oof. Alright, let's go see what George is up to. You upsetting my friend. Nice of George. Save us a few. At your earliest convenience, Noble Six. Yep. We're on the way, George. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lost shields. Lost... Lost ammo, too. Alright, we're back. Really? You're a tough grunt. Jesus. All that methane breathing must be good for him. Ooh, I think he... Yeah, he killed himself. He naded himself into oblivion. Good for him. Okay. Right, how do we get back up here? How are you doing, George? Ooh, it does look pretty heavy out here. That's fine. Let's get some nades in there. Oh, hello. Have some ammo, please. Yes. Just what we needed. Alright, George. Looks like you need some shields. <laughs> Stand next to those explosives at your peril, my son. Yeah, I can see. Um, right. Let's get some health. Wouldn't mind to have sprint back, to be honest. Yeah, I'll go for the DMR too. Lovely. Did they really bring these weapons on board without actually making sure they were nicely loaded? Ow, ow. Oh god, that hurts. Oh my god, that hurts. Oof. Oh, wait. Maybe being in this bubble shield. Maybe being in the bubble shield actually heals you. Is that a thing? I'm not sure, but that seems to actually be what, what's happening. I did not know that was a thing. But I'm happy. Alright, let's get you out there. Oh god, hello. Hey, you little squirrely rat. You ain't having your ship back. No way. 
This is our ship now. Got to win some. Right, how we doing, George? How we doing? Oh. You got movement. Pretty sure I just saw an invisible elite as well. Oh, we need more bullets. Uh, oh, we don't have any more. That's good. That's comforting. I <laughs> see him running away. No running, children. No running. Okay, what we got left, George? Ah, there was. Well, it was not invisible, but a couple of elites up here. We go handle them. Where are you hiding, guys? No point in hiding. Yeah, exactly. You're against Spartans now, boy. Come on. Let's get that shield back. There we go. Right. Let's see how you like some of this. How we doing? And yet, there's still more. Bloody hell, they really don't want to lose this ship, do they? Well, that's fine. Oh, concussion rifle. Not great. Yep. George, guy with a concussion rifle. That's right, I got him. Has he got one as well? Of course he... No. Nope, he's got the plasma launcher. Not quite as dangerous, but bad enough. Come on. There we go. Dual wielding bastard there. Keep these shots accurate. What did, you, what did I say, Six? Oh, I needed that. We literally had no health left. Oh, boss. I'm not hiding. I'm being tactical. Oof. Got him. Trying to keep it up, George. Yeah, so this definitely does heal us. That's really nice to know. Really nice to know. Ooh. Yeah, that weakened him. <sighs> Are we done yet? Yeah, they don't. Can't go back to the sabers. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, the sniper rifles here. Distance is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. Seventy-six seconds to end it. So, it's gonna be like that. Well, I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust a gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen. Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Oh, shit. Tell him to make it count. Good thing we got that re-entry package. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, imagine falling all the way back to the surface. But George's sacrifice was not in vain. 
took out the super carrier. Um. Sounds like my phone alarm's going off as well, which is wonderful. Yeah, that's kind of a heavy ending. Um, George basically sacrifices himself to save Reach, and he dies thinking he does save Reach. But the second he destroys the supercarrier, three or four more jump in. Um, yeah, that's kind of the turning point where they look out the window and think yeah we've we've lost <laughs> there's no way even with um 60 percent of the the unsc fleet coming to reach yeah i i don't i don't think so chief uh it's a good thing that um well, the story plays out the way it does because if if the human fleet actually got here when that huge covenant force was here, oof, yeah, I think it would have been game over. Um, really, kind of harsh ending for George. Uh, kind of a cool ending, but really harsh. Going out of the fight thinking that he just saved his planet when actually no. I mean, technically, he didn't die for nothing. He took out a supercarrier, which is huge. But it's not going to make a difference to the Battle of Reach. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.